climate change isn't something you really have to bother about too much in Britain. We know it's happening and we know at some point in the future it may or may not affect our lives. But generally, we get on with our every day-to-day -day life without giving it a second thought. That's not possible for the people who live here in Nepal. In Nepal, climate change is already having a devastating effect upon their lives. It's quite dry here at the moment, but we'll soon be coming into the rainy season. And when that happens, there'll be a huge deluge of rain, which will fill up the rivers here and water the crops. That's happened for as long as anyone can remember. And it's a part of Nepali life that the people here are used to. However, as a result of climate change, these rains are much more prolonged and they're much heavier. So what this means is there's a lot more water. So the rivers fill up and sometimes the rivers will burst and cause flooding. I've been speaking to some people who live in a village near to the riverbank in Nepal. And they were telling me that they live day to day with the knowledge that at any point their homes could be flooded. Now organisations such as Practical Action have been working with these communities to develop early warning systems to give these people a fighting chance to get away to safety before the waters hit their village. It's a very simple technology like most of the technologies that Practical Action uses and what it does is it measures the uh, height of the, river, of the water upriver and when that reaches a critical level a message is sent by radio to the people down in the village below. The few villagers who get this message then alert the rest of the community by sirens which they wind up and send a wailing sound around the community so that they can get away safely. We're not talking about days here to get your bags packed and say goodbye to your friends. This will only give them two to four hours of warning but that's vital time. Just think what it would be like if you were living under the threat that at any point you'd only have two hours to pack your belongings and go. One of the other effects of climate change that's happening here is an increase in temperature. So we've got rain, more rain than ever before, and then at the other extreme we've got drought. And this of course has an impact on the crops that can grow here. So farmers here who've been growing the same crops for generations now have to think about growing different crops as a result of climate change. That doesn't sound too difficult, but of course the people here are very poor, so they can't just go and buy a few different seeds. So they need help, and organisations such as Practical Action are helping them find different crops that they can grow, or different livelihoods that they can have to earn income for their families. Having spent some time here in Nepal, I really want to do something to stop climate change getting worse and causing even worse effects here. And I hope now that you will too.